Hey folks, it's Roy Schreffler here on a Saturday, May 7th, 2016. This is a uh, Hammond Organ Model L122, and it's turned on as you can see the pilot light there. Uh, the goal for today is to demonstrate how uh, possibly changing the motor RPM ever so slightly may result in the uh, Leslie effect, um, sort of say vibrato or the um, Doppler effect just by me changing the motor. We've already experimented with this and we know that it pretty much works. So I'm reshooting this video. Here's the back of my uh, Hammond and you see the tone generators here. Okay, here's the uh, amplifier with the tubes glowing. Here's the uh, reverb section. And here we have the spinning motor and this is a spring coupling. Maybe there's there's the motor that drives it, the starting and run capacitor, and um, there's the sound of the tone generator without anybody touching their monkey with it. All right, there's our model number. All right, what I'm going to do now is have Jacob hold the flashlight for me, and he's going to hit a key, middle C, and I'm going to reach in. Where's my gloves? My leather glove. Go get the glove quick, it's in the room. I took it in the other room. Run, quick, run. Here's the um, vibrato amplifier and the percussion amplifier. So, this is what that looks like. On the bench in the back. So he went to get the glove, I put it away, but then we decided to reshoot the video because I didn't have it holding the camera properly. Yeah, bring it here, that's it. All right, you see there's a big s stool speakers and there's the pedal. All right, here, hold the flashlight, kid. Let me put the glove on and uh, we're gonna get going. All right, so he's gonna shine a light and hit a key get in there. I'm going to show you how I just disrupt the uh, spring with my finger. Uh, right there. Hold it there. Alright, hit a key. 